today where they've reached 98% of all the over 80s locally who've uh, been vaccinated. Yeah, that is a fantastic level of take-up um, and um, they're continuing to offer the, uh, the, the jab to the 2% who haven't got there yet. Um, so this is a, a, a rollout that is going well. The enthusiasm for taking the jab is increasing um, and I hope that we can uh, keep, in, keep encouraging people and reassuring people uh, who might be wondering whether to have the jab or not uh, that this is the right thing to do for them and for their uh, community. Uh, so, uh, so I'm, uh, yeah, that is, it's really encouraging uh, on the vaccine rollout, and I'm very grateful to everybody who's helped play their part, including, including the media, who've been, uh, frankly, absolutely brilliant uh, in supporting the science on this one. Um, and on the first question. I'm going to turn to uh, Dr. Harris, um, and yes, and then Dr. Hopkins uh, to make sure you get a uh, full and rigorous scientific answer. Um, so I might just add on to some of the comments about the people getting the vaccine, because I think uh, certainly uh, directors of public health have been working very hard at local level, as have uh, faith leaders as well, I think have been absolutely instrumental in supporting individuals to understand the vaccine, uh, what it means and, and how they might have it. And we've seen some of those centres open up in churches and mosques and uh, various other places, which will, I, I think, provide assurance to some local communities. Uh, and that is important. The point I wanted to raise was, if, for example, we take some of the uh, very uh, high-risk areas, so care homes are something which uh, is particularly at the top of my mind, we know that the elderly residents are taken out of, but perhaps care home staff uh, were uh, to start with and are perhaps a bit reluctant. We know that with more information, uh, they have then have been reassured and come back. And that's important because an area like a care home is, uh, is in itself a bit like a mini population. So it's really important that both the residents and the staff are, are um, vaccinated as well. Uh, but on the data, so the high level data is already published. I think it's NHSC data on uh, Susan will uh, clarify that. I know directs of public health have had uh, a first tranche of, of data. And again, <laughs> we understand not just that people have been vaccinated, but the ages of those individuals, uh, where they live, uh, the sorts of roles they're doing in the health and care sector and that information mm -hmm. is starting to flow. It's a huge task for people might want to add, but I know even today uh, a large data linkage has uh, gone through uh, NHSE uh, and is uh, promoting that data. The important thing is that local communities have the granularity, the real level of data that allows them to access and support people in their programmes. I'll just add on particularly on the dexamethasone. So dexamethasone studies that were done in the UK through the largest study in the world recovery have really transformed people who are admitted to hospital and who need oxygen and improved survival. Uh, we see no signals at the moment that there's increased hospitalisation rate uh, with the new variant and we're not seeing a clear signal at all that that, they, that has changed with dexamethasone. So we would expect dexamethasone to work perfectly because this is about uh, reducing your own immune response and calming that down so that your body can get over this virus with its own immune response. So we expect that dexamethasone will still be effective in reducing mortality uh, with this virus and we expect that hospitals will continue to give it, which they are doing at a very, very high level, to anyone who needs oxygen who's admitted. So it's very it's reassuring 
that our assessment is that the vaccine works against the new variant and that the treatments work against the new variant, but it's passes from one person to another so much more easily that we've all got to just be extra careful to uh, stop and passing it on because that's how we're going to get this under control. Thank you very much indeed, Hannah. Next question from Dan O'Donoghue from the Press and Journal. Dan. Uh, just two quick questions for you, Health Secretary. Um, why do you